Last time on Total Drama Random Island, the teams were tasked with hunting down the other team's deer with paintball guns. Taylor revealed she never liked Duncan, DJ showed off his animal side, and Jock broke the glass ceiling by being the first hunter to be treated like the deer. Jock was able to convince Pete that Duncan was planning to get Pete out, so he flipped, giving Jock's group enough votes to stay in the game and have Duncan's journey end. Dwayne knocks on the cabin door and asks if Kitty is okay, and Kitty yells for Dwayne to go away. Pete asks if it was no good, and Dwayne says of course it was no good, you voted off her boyfriend. Pete says that it wasn't his fault, he was tricked. Pete says in confessional that he was stupid to believe Jock, but what can they do now? They don't have majority anymore. Jock asks how things are going now that they can feel the dread hang over them, and Kitty comes out and says that she's gonna kill him before running after him. Jock runs in fear. Jock in confessional says that she sure can run despite being in heels. Sammy asks Taylor if they can talk, and Taylor says yeah, sure, what's up? Sammy says that the bullying has stopped ever since Amy has left. Is it because Amy forced you to do it and not because you enjoyed it? Taylor says, oh of course, I would never hurt you. Sammy in confessional says that she knew things would be better once Amy left. Taylor in confessional says that she bullied Sammy because she was fun to bully. She doesn't need Amy to make her do anything. Taylor asks Spud what he's looking at, and Spud says, I don't know. Something just doesn't seem right. Spud in confessional says that he doesn't trust Taylor. Justin goes to Elodie and B and asks them how they're holding up. Elodie says that she's been better, how's he? Justin says that he's here on business, not to chat. They have to decide whether or not they will quit this pointless war against him or not, otherwise they are gone. B is frustrated and Elodie agrees, saying that he should have went home, not Lorenzo. Justin tells them to suit themselves before leaving. Ella is talking to Owen and she says that he has to stay strong to the Alliance. I mean, Justin would be very sad if he'd left and learned you voted him out. Owen says that meals from Elodie, B, and Millie are so enticing though, and Ella says that she can get him one of Justin's shirts, and Owen says that if she can also get him one of Justin's strands of hair, it's a deal. Owen says in confessional that being loyal is tough when your loyalty is to food. DJ apologizes to Millie, saying he should have done more to stop the vote, and Millie says that it wasn't his fault, it was Jock's fault if anything. Justin and Jock sure are two peas in a pod, one will do anything to win in challenges while the other will do anything to hold majority. DJ asks if he made the right decision, and Millie says that she will always be biased because Justin got rid of Cody and Lorenzo, two of her friends on the island. DJ and Confessional ask what he's doing, he's been affecting people so negatively because of how he votes for them. Each person is liked by someone else, he's hurting others, the only way for him to not do that is to keep winning. Chris welcomes them to the next challenge, today they will be required to cook a three course meal, now designate your head chef. Justin says that Ella should do it and Jock says that he will cook a gold medal worthy meal. In the kitchen, Ella says that Owen will be bringing in more food, DJ and Justin will be a team, Millie and her will be a team, and finally Elodie and B will be a team. Jock says that for this challenge, Sammy and Kitty can take the appetizer, Spud and Taylor can cook the entree, and Pete and Dwayne can take dessert. Justin asks DJ how he's doing, and DJ says he's not doing well. He was part of why Lorenzo got out. Justin says that he needs to get his head in the game. One million dollars is a lot of money to bring home to Mama. DJ says in confessional that Justin is right, he needs to get his head in the game for Mama. Ella asks Millie how she's doing and Millie says that she doesn't want to talk to Justin's errand girl. Ella says that she wants Millie to make it farther, all she needs to do is just to tell Justin that you want an alliance with him. Millie says that she would rather die. Ella in confessional says that this will be problematic, but hopefully she changes her mind. B is putting exact measurements in, and Elodie asks if he'd like to date, and B gives a finger gun to signify yes. Elodie in confessional says that asking someone out is needlessly complicated in today's culture. B says that he's never cooked before, and Dwayne says that it's not hard, you just put ingredients in until your ancestors tell you to stop. Taylor tells Spud to stop looking at her, and Spud says that he doesn't really trust her. Taylor says in confessional that Fatty better watch his back. Sammy tells Kitty that she understands where she's coming from. If her boyfriend was eliminated, she won. Jock or Taylor gone too, but I think it would be wiser to... Kitty interrupts her and says that honestly, she doesn't care what Sammy thinks because this whole time you've been working with the guy who got rid of my boyfriend. Sammy says that she didn't mean to hurt her, and Kitty asks why she even bothers to be friends with him, and Sammy says that Jock is nice to her. Jock goes over to the two and tells them to calm down. Kitty says, I'm going back to bed before leaving the challenge. Jock says, well, I guess you and me are teamed up now. Sammy in confessional says that she really doesn't like how Kitty is making Duncan leaving everyone's problem. Like her boyfriend got out. Get over it. She then asks if that was mean to say. Before it starts, Spud places a weird artifact on the table and Jock asks him what that is and Spud says it's a good luck charm. Jock tells him that Spud will present the food to Chris. Spud says aye aye captain before going to the back. 
Owen asks for just a little taste of the food and B asks to fend him off from it. DJ says that he knew this would happen and B feeds Owen a sandwich and Owen falls asleep. DJ says in confessional that it was an extra strength sleeping pill B put into that sandwich, Owen won't be a problem anymore. B in confessional gives a sly smirk. The appetizers start and Chris gives the point to DJ and Justin. When the entree is asked to come out, they find Spud has eaten the rack of meat him and Taylor had prepared and he takes out the nearly empty tray and Chris says there's no food here and Spud says that there's a little piece of meat right there. Chris eats it and says that honestly, it's better than Ella and Millie's. Spud is rocking out when Chris says to hold on, they need to do the dessert. He tries the Screaming Gophers one and likes it. When he tries the Killer Bass one though, he begins choking and B gives him the Heimlich to get him out. Chris then says that the Screaming Gophers are the winners. Doc says that Spud's good luck charm is a fake. Where did he get it from anyway? And Spud says that he got it from Boney Island. And Chris says that he told him not to grab anything from there or else you'd be cursed forever. Spud says that that's a bummer. He didn't want to be cursed forever. A few years maybe. Jock says that it's no wonder they've been losing challenges, it's not because they're bad, it's because they're cursed. Justin says that it could also be because they're bad. Spud says he will take care of it before leaving. At elimination, Chris says that despite Pete and Dwayne almost killing him, he enjoyed the food. If you get a marshmallow, you are safe. Dwayne. Pete. Jock. Sammy. Taylor. And finally, Kitty. Spud says that that's a major bummer, man, and Sammy says he will miss the big guy. Chris tells them that tonight they may have lifted the curse, but next week will determine if it worked. Rest up and you'll see them next week. And that's that for Total Drama Random Island Episode 9. What did you think? Question of the week. Who do you think is playing a better game overall, Justin or Jock? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.